Watch you guys got another video on 10 things people ask about Windows 11. Now, Windows 11 is probably not the most popular operating system to a lot of people. People want to hang on to Windows 10 as much as possible. But those people tend to ask common questions about Windows 11. And sometimes they get misinformed by people in the comment section or they may be reading some Reddit post or something like that. So we're going to go through some of the common questions that people do ask or they email me and ask these same questions over and over. So first off is, is Windows 11 free? And I always see people say, no, it's not free. You are the product. But basically, yes, Windows 11 is free upgrade for eligible Windows 10 users. So if you've got a Windows 10 system and it's eligible for an upgrade to Windows 11, you can upgrade for free, but your PC must meet the strict system requirements that Microsoft have set in place for Windows 11. And this is one of the common things that people hate about Windows 11 is the strict system requirements. Now, I get some people have really, really old computers and they still want to use Windows 11 and they expect to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 on that 15 or 20 year old computer. Unfortunately, Microsoft have strict hardware requirements and that leads us on to number two. What are the system requirements for Windows 11? Microsoft have got plenty of articles where they explain all of this stuff and I'll show you some of these and try to link them in the video description. So a compatible 64-bit processor is essential. Also, four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage is needed. TPM 2.0 is essential. Secure boot needs to be on and also a DirectX compatible graphics card is needed as well. And you can read all of this information on here, and I'll leave those links in the video description. The next question I get is, can my current PC run Windows 11? Now, of course, Windows 10 is reaching end of life, and people want to know whether they can run Windows 11. Well, you can use Microsoft's PC Health Check tool to check if your PC hardware supports Windows 11. I'll leave a link for this and you can download it and run this on your PC and it will tell you uh, whether your PC is compatible for Windows 11. Now I'm running a office sort of level PC here to show you so you're not going to be able to see any of the stats here because it's all locked down as you can see right here and you're not going to be able to see it. But on your PC it will give you a readout of what is compatible for Windows 11 or not. Sometimes it might be just secure boot is disabled in the BIOS and you can enable that and it will then allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. If it's something to do with the CPU or any of the other strict hardware requirements that Microsoft have in place, then it's unlikely that you're going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. Next up is how do you upgrade to Windows 11? Now, Microsoft have also got another article on ways to install Windows 11, and they will give you the recommended method to install Windows 11 on your system. If you're on Windows 10, they'll generally tell you to go through the Windows Update settings to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 via that method. But you can do fresh installs of Windows 11 as well, and there's other options available here, as you can see. So you've got through the Windows Update Settings panel, or you can use the Windows Installation Assistant, which is on their website, or you can create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it, and basically either upgrade via that method, which I've shown you videos on how to do that, and I've also shown you how to do a fresh clean install using that method as well. So you can see all of this is listed on their page. Unfortunately, Microsoft make it quite difficult to find some of this stuff unless you know what you're doing. But if you do a search for download Windows 11 in Google search, it will bring you to this page and it will give you the options for Windows 11 installation assistant, which is your Windows update assistant. You can use that and it should update you automatically to Windows 11 if you're on an eligible computer. You can even create Windows 11 installation media using this method here. If you have an eligible computer and you want to use that for doing a fresh install, or you can even do an in-place upgrade with this method as well. You can even download the Windows 11 ISO uh, from their website. And this is all official uh, Microsoft's uh, page, so you'll be able to get all of this information uh, from their website. And I'll try and leave links for this in the video description. 
Some people prefer to do a fresh install of the operating system and some people just want to keep all their apps and all their data. Just remember to back up all your data before you run an in-place upgrade or you do an upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 just in case something goes wrong. Another question I get all the time is what are the major differences between Windows 10 and Windows 11? And if you look at the compare windows here, Microsoft have got another article here where they break it all down and they show the difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. You can see new UI there. This is your new uh, user interface that is for Windows 11. Also, there is the taskbar, which is now centralized. You can move it to the left still. Uh, so that is important that you know that you can still move it to the left, but it is normally preferred to have it centralized. They've also got a new start menu which has been completely butchered in my personal opinion but again it is a new uh, start menu that they've set out for Windows 11. There's also other features on here like dynamic lighting and also some other things that Windows 10 just doesn't, doesn't have like widgets and things like that. You've also got your snap layouts which is your advanced Windows management system. I prefer to turn that off myself. And also, they say it's got some performance improvements on Windows 11 over Windows 10. So just bear in mind, there's quite a bit of bloat inside Windows 11 compared to Windows 10. And I've made quite a few videos on how to remove some of that stuff and how to turn it off as well. I prefer to use Group Policy Editor to turn a lot of that stuff off, as you can see in some of my previous videos. Just do a search on my channel for some of those videos and you'll be able to get more information about Windows 11. Another question I see all the time is, can I go back to Windows 10 after upgrading to Windows 11? And the short answer to that is yes, you can, but you only have 10 days to go back to Windows 10. Microsoft have shortened this period quite a bit, but you can extend that. And I've made videos showing you how to extend it for a longer period, but right out the box, you've only got 10 days to either stay on Windows 11 or go back. Otherwise, it will gray out and you won't be able to go back to Windows 10 unless you do a fresh install of Windows. And on this document, you can see it talks about how to go back to Windows 10. But remember, Windows 10 is reaching end of life. And unless you enroll in the extended uh, updates program, you are not going to be able to receive any more security updates unless you sign into a Microsoft account and basically enroll into the extended security updates program and Microsoft have even got articles on that topic so you can read up about all of that I'll leave links for it in the video description and all you need to do is click on them and just read all through and you can see Windows 10 support ends on October 14th 2025 covered this quite a bit uh, you have got about about 10 weeks uh, maybe a bit shorter now but that's all you've got and then Windows 10 will reach end of life if you want to enroll you're going to need to wait until they give you the enroll link and you'll be able to click on that and enroll. Some people haven't received that yet and they are panicking, but don't worry, it will be showing up in your uh, Windows Update Settings panel and it will show up there either on the right-hand side as a link or it will show up as an actual enroll button. You click on it and you'll be able to enroll for free. I have made videos on how to get it for free, uh, but again, go and watch some of those videos. You can do a search on my channel. Another question is, can you customize the start menu and taskbar? Now, customizing the taskbar is a bit limited on Windows 11. They don't allow you to put it up the top or on the side because of all the widgets and stuff on Windows 11. But you can customize the start menu, and the start menu is getting a bit more customization because Microsoft have been doing quite a few updates to the start menu. So you can configure the start menu, pin and unpin apps, as you would normally do on any sort of start menu, rearrange and group the pins and also customize the layout and things like that. I personally prefer to use start 11 rather than the start menu that comes with Windows 11 because I find it a lot more customizable and much more easier to use and it just looks nicer. So if you want to get a better start menu, get start 11. It costs five bucks and you can use that and it will make your life a lot easier on Windows 11. Now, another question I see quite a bit in comments on emails that i get and also on other youtube channels is windows 11 good for gaming windows 10 is always claimed to be the best operating system for gaming and yes windows 11 does include new features like auto hdr and direct storage to enhance gaming performance 
There's also some other features on here as well, like game mode and other things like that, which will also enhance gaming. And to be honest, uh, some games perform better slightly on Windows 10 and some games perform better on Windows 11. So really, there's not much difference between the two, in my honest opinion. And I think where a lot of people uh, say that Windows 10 is a lot better at gaming is because they're using really old computers or really old hardware and it just isn't up to snuff with Windows 11. So unfortunately, it's going to impact your gaming if you have a really old system and you're using Windows 11 unsupported on it. It is going to run like a dog, basically. If you've got a new computer and you have Windows 11 on it, I don't see any impact on that at all. And I don't see any lag or any of those things that people talk about in the comments of my videos. Anyway, the choice is yours at the end of the day. Now, there's one last thing I want to uh, bring to your attention, which is the compatibility issues with apps and hardware. If you've got really old uh, applications or programs that you want to use on Windows 11 and some hardware, some really old hardware devices might not work properly with Windows 11 uh, because of the driver support and things like that, but maybe it's really old uh, legacy drivers that you need that aren't supported on Windows 11. You may have to work a way to get that to work. Otherwise, it's just not going to install or it's just not going to run properly. And you can try compatibility mode, but sometimes that just doesn't work. Windows 11 has changed quite a bit. And the same thing goes for a piece of hardware. If it's really, really old that you bought 15 odd years ago, it just might not work on Windows 11. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. That is probably more than 10 questions that people ask about Windows 11. So hopefully this answers all your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you've got any questions, you can always leave them in the comments section of this video. If I get enough questions, I might make another video. But other than that, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.